one on your jams where hit music lives. Locked in the midday chop up right here with your girl Erin Rain Man. Got that shit, see a Shang Yang anthem in the mix. Right about now, it's all about Jack Trap, letting you know what's happening in the media. And right now, my heart goes out to Movado during this time because his son, Dante Brooks, who's only 18 years old, was found guilty of murder, illegal possession of a firearm, and arson. However, because of his age, it's still being discussed how many years he will receive in jail. But now Movado is also grieving since his mother just recently passed away. He shared an old photo on his Instagram with a heartwarming message about his mother. But what's even sadder also is the fact that, you know, his mother cannot be buried immediately as the government has laced a ban on funerals due to the increasing cases of COVID-19 infections. And additionally, Movado himself may not be able to attend the funeral in Jamaica as he risks being arrested by authorities seeing that he's named a person of interest in the same murder case that his son is already in and the last time Avada was in Jamaica allegedly he was shot at and by unknown assailants so his life is also at risk if he goes back to Jamaica and so this is just super sad to see that he's dealing with all this right now and even Bounty Killer decided to squash the beef that him and Movado has had for a long time now so let me let you know what's happening with Fast and Furious so Fast and Furious 9 is on the way I'm ecstatic to see it seeing how Fast and Furious 8 ended but it looks like Bow Wow was on the verge of retiring um, but before that he's heading back to the big screen in a revival role in the upcoming Fast and Furious 9 movie as Twinkie and back in 2006 you know we played a role in Fast and Furious Tokyo's Drift if you don't remember you probably want to check it out now but the cast also includes Cardi B and John Cena for the Fast and Furious 9. So, ah, look at Cardi B, man. She's a, she's an artist and she's an actress at this point because, you know, she was in, um, what was the stripper movie? I can't really remember the name of the stripper movie that she was in. I think it was sometime last year. But, yeah, well, she was in that. So it's just good to see that, you know, she's definitely versatile and she's switching it up. But the Fast and Furious 9 premieres was set for April 2020, but was pushed back to, um, to 2021 this year amid the COVID-19 pandemic. And the new date is set for June 25th. So a lot of all the Fast and Furious fans get ready for Fast and Furious 9. So my thoughts right now uh, about divorce. Oh, God. Gosh, I know it's a, I know it's a lot. I mean, well, let me not say that because I haven't been through it myself. But I'm pretty sure a lot of persons have been dealing with a lot, especially with COVID-19 being out there. And I really thought Nicole Young and Dr. J were finally done. Heading the headlines, seeing that they've been dealing with such a messy divorce, but she was just recently um, denied a restraining order over Dr. Dre Larrick's and his new song. And yeah, he said a few things about her. If you haven't checked out the Dr. Dre's new song, be sure to do so. And she claimed that she is receiving threatening text messages from Dr. Dre, and she's made the claim previously in which he said, um, well, what she said, Dr. Dre told her, if you allow your attorneys to disrespect me, dig into my personal business, that means war and there's no coming back from that. So Nicole definitely wanted, um, you know, a restraining order after that. But she also said in her plea to court is because she does not want Dr. Dre to contact her anymore, which includes emails, phone calls, or texts. And also she wants the judge to order Dr. Dre to stay away from their home in Malibu, which she's been occupying since their split. Now, she was denied a restraining order, so I don't know. Maybe the judge didn't see fit as yet. But I'm just hoping, I don't know. To, to me, it just seems like it's too much to go through. And hopefully they're ready. They can get this resolved as soon as possible so both of them could just you know live their lives and be happy together divorce seems like hell and i don't know maybe i'll second guess marriage but that's it for chat trap let you know what's happening in the media but to jump back into the mix right now gonna get into some movado with father god